In the interest of being helpful and looking at things that could potentially help us be more creative, maybe a little bit faster, we're going to take a look at a cool little device known as an accessory pedal. And it can be used with something like the HX Stomp. Really, it can be used with any physical Helix product, but in this example, we're going to be using it with the HX Stomp to kind of expand its capability and give us a little bit more flexibility. So what is an accessory pedal? Well, this is an accessory pedal, and it's made by Rockstock. Full disclosure, they sent me these pedals to check out because they came across a channel and realized we were doing a lot of stuff with the Helix and the HX Stomp and figured it'd be something that could be useful for you guys. They also sent along a single pedal, which would be nice to kind of tie into the tap tempo feature of the HX Stomp. So in order to take advantage of this type of accessory, you're going to need a TRS cable. What is a TRS cable? If you don't know that, then you probably shouldn't even be watching this video. I'm just kidding. Tip ring sleeve. Essentially, it's a stereo cable, and it allows us to take full advantage of what this has to offer. So you take one end of the TRS cable, you plug it in to the expression of the HX stomp in this demonstration, you're good to go. Now there are numerous combinations or potential options that come into play when you have an accessory pedal like this. But today, we are going to look at how to utilize this pedal to cycle through your snapshots and to use it to engage and disengage different stomp boxes within your preset. So let's take a look. If you're into guitars, riffs, mixing, and everything in between, hit subscribe and follow along. So when we plug in, you can see they get a little notification that we now have something active. If we hit the two page buttons simultaneously, we get our menu. We're gonna scroll over to global settings. And the first thing we're going to do is not touch the capacitive buttons. We are going to switch the funk FS4. So you can take a look. You can adjust what this is doing. So right now you see it says tap and tuner. You can adjust that to just be a stomp if you want. We're gonna leave that as is, no big deal. So what we're looking at is foot switch function four. We are going to switch that to stomp four, hit the page, and then we're gonna switch this to stomp five, okay? Hit the home button. So now we are going to assign different foot switches to control some parameters. So let's first of all engage that. It was disengaged because I was doing some testing. You know, take it easy. So we have the first effect we want to control. Selected, double hit the page buttons, go to bypass assign, and now we want to assign it to foot switch four. Just keep it in order, okay? Latching means if you have it on mon mo momentary, it'll when you hold it, it disengages it, and when you let it go, it engages it. But we want it on latching. Hit the home button, go to our next effect, which is going to be our parametric EQ. Hit both page buttons, bypass assign, switch it to foot switch five, keep it on latching, hit home. Now we can control the room reverb and with foot switch five, we're controlling our parametric EQ. It's that simple, it's that easy, it's that quick. So say I wanted to assign another switch. Let's control my horizon drive. So we'll scroll to horizon drive. First of all, we are in snapshot mode right now. We wanna make sure we are in stomp box mode. So hit page button. So this is a preset control page. You can also cycle through presets here. This is snapshot mode. This is stomp box mode and you don't see anything there because nothing is assigned to those two pedals. You can see tap tuner is assigned to the third pedal. So now that we're in stomp box mode, hit home, hit two page buttons, bypass assign, switch it to foot switch one, hit home, boom, there we go. So now we have that and we're controlling the room reverb and we're controlling parametric EQ. Simple as that, there you go. And that's great, nice. So let's say we didn't need that granular control 
over foot switches. We had our preset made like I do in this case and we wanted to just cycle through our snapshots. Well, that's easy as well. So what we're gonna do, we hit home button, double page, page right, global settings, and now we can see we'll switch foot, so we want to page, we'll use foot switch four to page down through our snapshots, and we'll use foot switch five to page up through our snapshots. So foot switch four, we're gonna cycle through preset, see that's bank, preset, snapshot up, snapshot down, page over, snapshot up, hit home. So again, if we hit the home button, we are in snapshot mode, but if we go to stompbox mode, we can still have control over our horizon drive like we set up initially. But now we've switched this from being stompbox or controlling stomp boxes to controlling our snapshot. So we can see we're in snapshot one up there. And now we can control our snapshots there without even going into snapshot mode and still staying in stomp box mode. So let's say I wanted to, you know, control that room reverb. If I hit the home button, we will select the room reverb, double page, bypass a god the problem is you hit the capacitive buttons and it takes you out annoying so home button we're on the room reverb bypass we'll switch it to foot switch two hit home now we're in stomp box mode control the room reverb control the horizon drive control our snapshots and it's simple as that there are various ways you can manipulate this thing. As you see, you could cycle through what you want these foot switches to do, preset up, preset down, change the bank, change the snapshot, or act as a foot switch. If you have the single one, you can even set it up to be tap tempo if you wanted. Shoot, you could even set up one of these to be tap tempo. Um, these foot switches are nice because they're non-latching. They're very, very quick and easy. They don't have the, you know, they don't have that very extreme click that the rest of the foot switches on the stomp have. I think this is just something that is super useful, especially if you have this on a pedal board. This is definitely something that'll give you a little bit more flexibility, you know, and you still have a small footprint. For someone like me, I'm probably gonna be hooking this up to my Helix rack so that I can cycle through my presets without having to cycle through on the physical unit or go into ATX Edit and cycle through that. I can just cycle through with my feet. That's gonna be great, I'm looking forward to that. I definitely wanted to show you guys this, not because Rockstock sent them to me and approached me, but because this is useful. This is useful, this is something that will enable us to be, you know, it'll improve our workflow, and in turn, help us be a little bit more creative, a little bit easier, and that is the point. That's what we're going for in 2021. I'm trying to be helpful. So I think this is something that you guys might wanna look at, and the price is right. These are affordable. These are both only 25 bucks, and that's a bargain. You know, something that'll help you improve your workflow. 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. Definitely check them out. I think they're super useful. All relating information and links can be found in the description down below. And if you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and stay up to date. All right guys, so I hope you found this video helpful. Try to keep it a little bit shorter than the last couple have been, cause let's face it, that's like two hours of information in the last two videos, so. Thank you for sticking with it and all the positive feedback from those videos. I really appreciate it. Thanks to all of you for subscribing and commenting and keeping the comment section, you know, helpful and supportive and positive. It's super important to me and I really appreciate it. A special shout out to those of you supporting me over on Patreon and of course here as members on YouTube. And if you're looking for other ways to support me, the channel and what I'm doing, I of course have music for sale on Bandcamp and streaming everywhere music is streamed. I hope you guys are all doing well. Stay safe, take care of each other, be helpful to someone, and we'll see you in the next one.